Step F, Theory Book, page 25, the primary chords in D major. At the very top of the page, we have the D major chord in root position. We also have the G major chord in root position. And we have the A7 chord in root position. Those are the three primary chords. In order for us to have a smoother progression, we invert the four chord and the five seven chord like this. Here's the D major chord, the one chord, going to the G major chord, G is the root, and the A7 chord, A is the root, the one chord, the four chord, and the five seven. Let's do that for the right hand. The one chord, the four chord, and the 5-7 chord. D major, there's the root. G major, there's the root. A7, there's the root. Those are the chords that you're supposed to copy in the middle of the page in the blank staves. At the bottom of the page, we have the primary chords that you have to put the Roman numerals. In treble clef, the first chord is the one chord the next chord is the four chord. The next chord is the one chord. The next one is the five seven chord. And the last one is the one chord. Let's take a look at the bass clef for the left hand. The first chord is the one chord. The next one is the four chord. The next one is one chord. The next one is the five seven and the last one is the one chord. Let's play these together. I count and we play. Ready? One, two, three, four. One, two, ready, go.